Hi, I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This is a 1980-ish uh, era uh, chick ring, 42 inches tall, that has been completely refurbished both inside and out. It's in excellent condition, I would say A plus condition. Uh, again, both in, inside and out after everything that we've done to it. So every piano, without exception, that, uh, that comes in to the shop here, uh, they're all in need of all of this work. Really, any, any piano older than five or 10 years old needs a certain level of this work. And, and the further they are from that point, the more desperately they need it. I say as a rule of thumb that about 25 years is about how long a piano will give excellent service. Now pianos last forever, they last 100 years, 120 years, sometimes even more, but they are well beyond that point that they're really able to give excellent service after about 25, maybe 30 years, or unless it's in a high use situation, then it could be significantly less. Um, Anyway, so this piano has had the works both inside and out. We've, we've gone over it and um, we've done what, what we call our level one refinishing on this piano. We've buffed all of the, all of the metal hardware so it's, as you get a shot of the pedals there, beautiful shiny pedals and the wheels and the other brass um, hardware. The wood is in excellent condition. The, same with the keys. I, I'm talking strictly cosmetics now. Keys are in are in A plus condition. Um, so that's cosmetics. Then on the inside, what the first thing we do is after we take everything apart, take the action out, take the keys out, take all the cabinetry that comes off, take all of that apart. We clean it very very thoroughly. Again, um, every piano older than five or ten years old is filthy inside and this piano of course was no exception and and it's a it's a very thorough cleaning process this is not just a quick vacuuming or just a quick air compressor blow it out this is a um, uh, several hour process that we put a piano like this through it's probably oh maybe four to six hours that we spend on on cleaning a piano like this um, if you're curious if you've watched other videos some of those others down there um, that, uh, that are turn of the century pianos. The cleaning process on those, because those are quite a bit older than this one, the cleaning process on those will be um, something like 16 hours. So, uh, so that's, e either way we're getting it to the same standard, but where we're, where we're separated by approximately 60 years or so between dates of manufacture, this one only needs um, maybe, maybe six, maybe eight hours of, of cleaning compared to those. Okay, so then after we clean it, what we do is we go through the action, tighten everything up, lubricate the action. There's lots of points in the action that, that desperately need to be lubricated when, when somebody uh, feels like they've been taking good care of their piano. All they really know is that they've been tuning it. They don't realize that there's all these other myriad of things that really need to be done. So, so um, cleaning, tightening, lubrication, we reshape the hammers. Actually, let's get a shot of that in here. You can see those hammers are nice and round as opposed to um, having, having deep grooves that causes kind of an obnoxious nasally sound. It can also be unpredictable, but uh, this is um, very beneficial for the sound. Then we go through and regulate everything. So, for example, that hammer should come to within an eighth of an inch of the string, which of course it does. You go through every note and you notice that it pulls away from that string at just the right point. That's a good way that if you're, if you're in the piano market, as I would assume you are if you're watching this video, that you can easily test on your own if a piano is properly regulated. There's, there's quite a few other touch points, I guess of ensuring that a piano is regulated. There's, there's the dip, which is the distance that you can depress the key. There's the leveling. There's the blow distance, which is the distance from the hammer to the strings when they're at rest. There's checking, which uh, has to do with repetition. There's damper timing and there's the damper spoons. All of these things that, uh, that contribute um, in conjunction with each other to just the right touch. So all of that has been done without exception. We don't put it out on the floor ready for sale until everything is 100% done. 
Uh, what else have we done? Of course, we've tuned it. We we redo the the, the mechanism down here with the pedals. Um, we'll voice it so that uh, so that it's consistent and that it's a pleasing tone, not not too tinny or not too not too dark and um, um, muted, I guess. So. All of that's been done on this piano without exception. So, last thing before I play it, I'll just mention as far as longevity, where, where this piano is already approximately 40 years old, there's no question that this piano hasn't yet even lived half of its life. I would, I would easily give this piano another 40 to 60 years of, of, uh, of life. Of course, it will need that at that 25 year point or so, just like any other piano, it will need it will need another uh, another run through on these things that I'm talking about, but uh, but before it's ready for the dump, um, I would say I would say at least 20, 20, 60, 20, 70, something like that. So it's got some time left. All right, let's listen to it. something that you can't get in a video as much as the touch and and what I'm feeling is is just a really nice consistent correctly regulated touch that uh, that lends itself very well to um, fast repetition and um, manipulation of the power and um, a nuance so but that you'll have to feel for yourself come check it out 1497 South State Street in Orem is the address or you can call the store at 801-701-0113. Thanks for watching.